welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be testing out and demoing the new ColourPop No Filter Concealers. I believe these get released on, I want to say the 27th of July. We are in the year 2017, which is in like two days, I believe. If not tomorrow, I'm not sure. By the time you're watching this, they are most likely out. They most likely might even be sold out and they might be coming back. We all know how ColourPop is in their demand so in this video i will just be showing you guys how i did my makeup today using these concealers i will say the first time that i used them like in this video i failed hardcore in applying the contour and i made a mess so you guys will see that i thought i would just leave it in there because you know it kind of shows you error user that was on my behalf that you, maybe you guys to learn learn from my mistakes and not do it basically applied way too much contour and it i made my face like my contour color it was really messy so you guys will see that but i did take off my face makeup reapplied it real quick and i actually really love the way the makeup ended out looking so if you guys want to see how i applied the color pop and no filter concealer and the end results please keep on watching all right guys so i currently have no makeup like on my face I have my eyes in, but I don't have any makeup on my face. I am going to go ahead and show you guys how I would apply my foundation because I don't know if that will affect the concealer by any chance. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. For my primer, I'm going to be using the Professional by Benefit. I have been feeling really oily today, so I want to I want to get all of that soaked up. I am applying some underneath my eye to try and make it really nice and smooth there. All right, so I feel like that's a pretty good amount of primer. And now I'm just gonna be applying my foundation. I'm gonna be using two. I will be using the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation in Tan Sand, and I also will be using the LA Girl one in Nude Beige. I'm just gonna pump it on the back of my hand. And then get a silly sponge and just dab it with a little silly sponge. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and blend this in real quick. For my entire face makeup, as far as blending things in, I will be using a beauty blender. Okay, now I'm going to quickly just apply a little bit of the tan sand by Tarte. So my foundation is now on. It is now time for me to be applying the concealer. I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know why. I did try this concealer yesterday and I didn't really like the way my makeup came out yesterday, but I don't think it had anything to do with the concealer. I think that my makeup just wore out kind of bad yesterday. Could have even just been my skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a new shot today. I will not be updating you guys within a day with this video. This video is just mainly going to be kind of my first impressions. I I'm not really sure if I'm going to be in home all day or if I'm going to be out. So I just would rather have it on a day where I for sure I'm going to be out of my home. So I'll update you guys on that if I ever do like maybe a first impressions or a check of makeup in general and I use this product. Um, but for now, this is just going to be first impressions. You guys seeing how it applies. Me letting you, letting you guys know my thoughts on the product overall right now for today. So I'm going to be using the color Golden 40 and the product actually like the packaging comes really nice like this. I actually really like the little applicator for it. I think it's like nice and soft when you're applying it. It feels really good on the skin as well. So I'm just going to apply four stripes like this. I usually would apply more. I applied more yesterday and I don't know if that had anything to do with it. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and blend this in. Let me up close so you guys can maybe see that. Maybe you guys don't gotta see my hair. I will say, it. I feel like it looks 
lighter on camera than it does in person i think right now in person me looking in the mirror it feels very warm almost It has a very creamy texture and it blends in really really nice on the skin and it looks really good as well it does look very like flawless all right so this shade golden 40 i don't think this is light enough for my under eye for what i would like so i am going to go ahead and mix another color that is lighter this one is medium tan and this is 35 so i'm assuming this is kind of close by and I think this color would have probably been better. I'm going to dab this in first, see how I like it, and then if I like it out. Yeah, this is a really good concealer. I just don't think it's brightening enough for my under eye. It definitely brightened it. I don't know if you guys could see that, but it definitely brightened this to this. So for sure, I don't think I'm going to be using Golden 40 on my under eye. Probably just on my skin because I feel like it fit my skin better than it fit like for an under eye. But I still would want this to be brighter. So I'm going to actually go in with light 20, which is like really rude. When you see it in the tube, you're like, whoa, that's really light. But I, I just want my under eye to be bright. There we go. So I'm just going to. And I applied a pretty generous amount. These are $6. And I think you get... I want to say... I read about point... Like one ounce? Did, did I read that correctly? I think it's half of what is in the Tarte Shape Tape. But they're $6. So, I mean, that price is like unbeatable. Okay, yeah, I really like this color for my under eye. This is light 20. I would say I'm like an NC40 right now, if not even like an NC45. And I don't think it really looks that, that bad on my under eye whatsoever. But if I was just to see this in this bottle, I would be really intimidated by it. So it blends in nicely with the skin. These are gonna get dirty so fast. These are like um, that type of mat like material that just will stick. It will get anything and it will just make it stick to it. So you're going to most likely be cleaning your lids a lot. But I do like the look of it, so I don't even like mind it, to be honest. Okay, so I'm really happy with the way that it brightened out my under. I'm going to go ahead and set this real quick like if I was baking, just because that's how I usually would do my makeup. So... I'm going to be using the Kat Von D translucent powder for this. I'm going to go in and tap out. Try and get any creases. And I'm actually going to start contouring my face with the concealer as well. Because we all, at least I do, I've seen so many girls on here use concealer for their contour as well. So I'm going to get this color Deep 70. And I'm going to use this. As my contour and yesterday I used this for my contour as well and I have to say that I really like these for contour like this is a great option if you need a like a type of liquid or concealer type contour I mean it's six dollars if you want to compare it to like high-end stuff the Kim Kardashian tube is 40 something dollars and you could literally get it like two different contour shades or a contour, I don't know. I just, this is a really good deal if you just want to contour. So I'm blending it in with my booty blender. It's really pigmented, like really, really, really pigmented. I don't, you, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but I just made my forehead really dark. I don't think I needed this much product for my contour. Do I see that? Whoa. Okay. Holy crap. What the fuck did I do yesterday so differently? I don't understand. Okay, this is coming out really scary. So I'm going to get 
a brush. Actually, let me do this first. Okay, be careful when you're contouring with these because I just kind of like fucked up my makeup. I'm going to try and fix it and go in with my LA Girl foundation. I'm just going to go on top of where I contoured. Anyways, the only place that I really set my makeup was my under eyes. So I think this is, this is totally user error. This is my fault. I used way too much contour and I don't think I even used this much yesterday. For some reason I just did. I got carried away. Oh my god, this is just not working out of my favor. Thank god I'm tan right now. Because if I wasn't, I would look hot mess. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take this off and get really close so you guys could kind of see my fuck up. Are you guys like, is there a difference? Can I see my forehead? Okay, yeah, this is not gonna work out. Okay, I don't know if you guys could see. I just look really, really red. So I think I'm gonna take off my makeup and redo it because I don't know if you guys could see, but I look really like blotchy and orange. This is my like body color, my neck color. And then it just looks, I just kind of went overboard with the contour. I'm gonna go ahead, take off my makeup, take off my face makeup and redo it because I want to like redo the contour because it just was a mess so I will be back. Alright so I went ahead and redid my foundation. Now that I know what color worked for my under eye, I'm going to be using a light 20 and I will be using the shade 35. So I'm going to be mixing these two, 35 and 20. And the way I'm going to do that is just do like a few strokes of the first color and then right on top a few strokes of the other color. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this in. Now that I know what color is working for me under eye, and just in general, like I think 20 on me is like a pretty good color to highlight with. If you want a highlight that's really, really gonna like brighten up your face and look a bit on the dramatic side, I think shade 20 would possibly be really good for you. I actually like how this looks a whole lot better than it originally did because I feel like it's actually like really brightening my face. Well, I think 30 alone really doesn't do it. And for sure 40, I don't know what I was doing with 40. This is kind of, it kind of fit in right into my skin. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in with the contour. This time I'm going to use very, very little. So I'm doing little dots instead. So really tiny little dots and I'm baking afterwards because I think it was almost like really sensitive to the baking powder Okay, that seemed to work a million Times better It's kind of like a little difficult to blend I feel like the darker, it's more difficult to blend in for contour, just be aware. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the way this looks. I am going to go back in with uh, the highlight, like right by my cheekbones, and right underneath. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the way this came out. I actually really like the way my under eye looks. 
I think in general this shade really did brighten up my face and I was able to see that a little bit really goes a really really long way for the contour I could totally build up the light color but the dark color it was like not very buildable you only need a little bit of product if you're trying to contour please don't go in like I usually go like bloop bloop I really go in with my contour stuff this is a concealer so it's not it's not a contour product so just I should have been a little bit more aware of that I didn't really think you needed such little product um but you really don't need a lot of product um yeah I'm gonna go ahead and go in and bake so far I gotta say I do think it looks really good okay so I'm gonna go ahead and let this bake up then I'm gonna dust it off all right I'm gonna go ahead and dust it off with my hello flawless powder from benefit I actually think that the powder and then my face powder really balanced out the colors I don't think it looks too crazy at first I was like hmm, I'm still looking a little bit oxidized orangey but I actually think that it all settled in really well I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and I will be back to give you guys my final thoughts and then the final look you guys can see it all together Alright guys, so this is my final makeup. In case you guys are wondering what I am wearing, I will have the details listed down below in the description bar. Promise you they will be there. But this is the final look and I have to say I'm actually really, really impressed and happy with the total finish. Like, I really can't complain about anything. I really like the way my under eyes look. I like the way the contour looks. I will say I didn't have to go pretty hard with the powder contour like I usually do I use this one in the middle which is like the middle shade and I usually always go for the darker one at least like I tap in there once and I didn't do that at all today and I think it's because the contour with the concealer was so strong I will say I did use these like a highlight and contour almost that's just kind of the way that I wear concealer but I think just for concealer alone like let's say you want to cover up a red spot or a pimple these are really fantastic I think the price point six dollars is good I will say I think just me knowing the type of person that I am I'm gonna go through these really really fast because I like con concealer concealer like that but if you don't go too hard on your concealer and you kind of just use it everyday makeup this is perfect even if not I would totally buy two of these it would only be twelve dollars which would still be cheaper than a lot of other concealers that I have purchased before and worn before. So therefore, I I really like this product. I think this is a really great product. I think the price point is perfect. Um, the product itself is really good. I will say it's pretty strong, if that makes sense. The pigmentation and the cut color, the it's all there. The blendability, I think, with the contour, be a little bit careful. With the highlight, you could get away with it. But with the contour, you have to be, a, if you're going to use it for contour, you have to be a little bit. Because you guys did see I had a big fail. I ended up making almost my entire face my contour color, which was not my intention. Um, just because I applied too much and it was also a little bit difficult to blend, it really like sticks to your skin, if that makes sense. But that's pretty much all I have to say. I will say just this is probably going to get really dirty. Aside from that, the packaging is nice. I think ColourPop always kind of usually pretty much always hits it out the park and I think they pretty much hit it out the park with these concealers. I really do like them. So that is my take on them. Would I recommend them? Yes, 100%. I would definitely recommend them. Do I think the price point is worth it? Yes, worth it. $6. If you like, believe me, you're not going to be mad. You're going to be happy. I will say though, just color wise, be careful with that because for example 20 looks like it'd be really really light and I think it fit me for a highlight pretty well it just depends what you're going for if you're looking for something to really highlight and boom pop your face or if you want something to match your skin tone nonetheless I hope that this video was helpful thank you guys so much for watching I will list down below um, swatches for the colors that ColourPop did I didn't do swatches just because I saw ColourPop did them and I was like hmm well they already did them they probably did a better job than I would. So I thought just maybe a first, impression, first impressions video would be helpful. Please give me a thumbs up if you like first impressions. If you like this video, I would 
be really appreciative if you guys did that or let me know down below in the comments what you guys thought if you're not subscribed and you'd like to be go ahead and subscribe thank you guys so much for that i would be honored if you guys came back to watch my videos so that's basically it thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you guys later bye